Hello and welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I am going to talk about five must-have skills when operating an embroidery business. So when we're talking about the skill level that you have, we're gonna talk about anywhere from being from zero all the way to being a number 10, all right? Where zero is super beginner, and number 10 is super expert. Okay, this is our guide. I'm gonna talk about five, all right? So the five skills that we're gonna talk about. Okay, I would say, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna say a lot of us, we're kind of on the halfway line on a lot of these skills that we're gonna talk about today, okay? In a perfect world, our skill level would be all the way super expert here. And of course, we don't live in a perfect world, okay? It's kind of like impossible to be all the way super expert on everything we're gonna talk about today. Our goal, okay, our goal, having a embroidery shop, especially if you have a home embroidery shop, okay, you're wearing a lot of hats, you're doing a lot of different types of tasks. So this here is gonna be very important and the goal for us, the level that we want to be at, we want to push this skill level as far to the right as possible, okay? And like I said, it's impossible to be all the way to super expert because skills are always changing, new technology is always coming, new software is being created, okay? So just when you think you made it to super expert, all right, it's like a new piece of technology comes and now you have to relearn a lot of stuff. So a lot of this stuff, when we're kind of functioning here in the middle towards the right, it's always constant learning because new skills and new techniques and new everything is always happening every week, every month, every year. Just to let everybody know, everybody, everybody, it don't matter what business you're at, everybody starts here at Super Beginner, all right? Everybody starts here super beginner and slowly through education through experience we slowly move our way up here even if any of these skills you feel like you're at super beginner that's okay because we all started there okay and some of us on some of these specific skills we're still there okay so a lot of times somebody could be super expert on one of these skills and then super beginner on one of these skills, all right? So don't feel like just because you're super beginner at somewhere, all right, it's like game over, okay? No, is the game just began. And just remember, whatever skill somebody has, maybe you have a skill that they don't have, okay? So it always evens out when we're talking about skills. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's talk about skill number one. Skill number one, this is kind of obvious one, all right? That's why I made it as number one. This is the most important skill for an embroidery shop to have, and that is to master the fundamentals of embroidery. With that statement there, there's probably 50 things you have to know with just that statement of mastering the fundamentals of embroidery, okay? So that would include everything from thread, all right? Knowing the different types of thread, brands, weight, setting tension, needles, your 75, 11, 80, 12, your sharp point, that's all fundamental stuff, okay? That's just the basics of the basics. You have to know that stuff. We're talking about bobbin, Okay, we're talking about the bobbin. Of course, you already know how important the bobbin is. So make or break. Every, a lot of this stuff is all make or break. If one of these items is not functioning correctly, okay, everything goes down the drain, all right? You need your hooping, all right? This is all fundamentals, okay? Stabilizer, that's what I mean when I'm just talking about the fundamentals of embroidery, all right? So a lot of that stuff you got to do it, do it, repeat, 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 repeat until you got it down packed. You have to know the difference between a lot of these items. Okay, so just FYI, I'm actually creating a video that's going into super, super detail on each one, okay? It's anywhere from like an hour to a two-hour video, but we're diving deep, 
deep, deep, going all the way to the deep end on a lot of this stuff, okay? And even if you're kind of an, on the expert level of this, there's a lot of information that we already know, okay? A lot of us just common knowledge, okay? But a lot of times we don't know why certain things are made or created certain ways, all right? So uh, I'm definitely going into the deep end with a lot of this stuff. So just kind of FYI of what's coming up. Skill number one, okay? There's no if, ands, or buts, but you have to know the fundamentals of embroidery, okay? So that was kind of like an obvious one. That's why I put it as number one, okay? So, all right, skill number two that you must have, you must know, okay? At least to a certain level, all right? Remember, you don't have to be an expert. You at least have to be somewhere in the spectrum of knowledge, okay? And this one here is very important, and that is number two skill of operating an embroidery shop is digitizing. Now, digitizing, that is something that takes time, time, time to understand and to practice and to see different types of situation. And digitizing, this is something where when you're starting off, all right, even when you're deep into your business, okay, you always want to outsource in the beginning side, on the beginning part, all right? You, you want to find a good, good, well-established digitizer that is highly recommended because when I started off, trust me, I've had some real, real bad digitizer that pretty much demoralized a lot of the new, the first projects that I was working on, all right? It's like the worst feeling ever when your designs are not being stitched out smoothly. You at least have to be at a very basic level of digitizing. You gotta at least have basic software of digitizing you have to and the reason why is a lot of times no matter how good your digitizer is no matter i'm talking about the best digitizer in the world no matter what happens you're always gonna maybe okay you're always maybe you might have to do little tweaks little changes all right especially if you are changing sizes of your design or you're using different garments you're going from a hat to a polo, polo to a towel, towel, okay? Once you start moving designs from places to places, you might have to do a little small adjustments to your designs, okay? So if you understand the basics, if you understand how digitizing works, okay, you can at least come in and do little minor changes, especially when you're changing from garment to garment, okay? Because there's gonna be times, let's say on a Saturday night, you're working midnight and something is not coming out right, okay? You're getting some type of distortion or you're getting a kind of registration error, okay? You wanna be able to fight your way out, to troubleshoot your way out, okay? Sometimes it's just a matter of moving a small node to the left a bit and that solves everything, okay? So sometimes you have to go in and you have to edit certain designs. And of course, as embroiderers, as custom embroiderers, customizing common names, com common text, common logos, all right? It's just a skill that you have to have, okay? Of course, when we're starting off, we're always outsourcing our designs, okay? But eventually, you have to learn the basics, all right? It's just, that's just the way it is. It's gonna save yourself from a lot of headaches down the line. All right, so of course we got digitizing up there as a skill every embroiderer has to have. Okay, skill number three. All right, this is a skill. It's not really talked about too much in the embroidery world. Skill number three is graphic designing. Okay, so when I'm talking about graphic designing, I'm talking about skills in Photoshop, Illustrator, Corel Draw, Okay, or some of the free ones. All right, so a lot of times it's uh, graphic designing is not really talked about because we expect our customers to already have their logo, their designs already laid out. Sometimes a customer might have an idea in their head, but they haven't laid it out yet. Okay, so if you can convert those ideas into a visual and now you can present it quickly, efficiently, fast, now you're going to enhance the look of the final project, okay? And you as a graphic designer, you have the upper hand because you could design 
with embroidery in mind. Okay, so there's a lot of rules in logos and graphic designings that go hand in hand with embroidery. Okay, so by you having this skill, by you being able to convert ideas into actual designs that will then be turned into embroidery stitches, okay, you definitely have the upper hand on any type of competition that you have. And the biggest thing out of this, out of graphic designing, is when it's time to present your work, any types of presentation, proposals, you can easily lay it out with proper graphic designing. There's a lot of rules, a lot of laws in, in graphic designing, okay? So the more you understand these rules, the better your presentation will always come out, okay? So graphic designing, skill number three. All right, we are at skill number four. Must have skill that you as an embroidery shop has to have, all right? And this one here is your make or break. The first skills, okay, definitely some of the important ones. Skill number four is your business structure. Okay, so we're gonna call this one business structure, but in reality, this business structure, this all includes of being business savvy, having everything laid out business-wise, okay? So this one here is another one that includes Okay, we can easily include about 100 different items when we're talking about the business side of your embroidery shop, all right? But some of the most common ones, of course, you want to have your business account set up. This is all dealing with budgets, okay, vendors. Here, moving forward, this is one of the topics I want to dive deep, okay, because this is one of my favorite, this is the fun part for me of embroidery, is investing a certain amount of money, putting in work on whatever I invested, and then every week and every month, seeing how we're improving on that investment. So this is definitely a topic I'm going to be diving deep, okay? And of course, as holidays are coming, and as the end of the year, we're gonna see a lot of our profit and talk about lessons learned, and what we should have done and what actually worked for us, okay? So this is definitely the business structure. This is more like the business side of embroidery, all right? This is skill number four. This is something that, of course, you're never gonna be perfect at, okay? But you're working your way all the way to that level 10. All right, skill number five. This is one that'll really take your shop, okay? It'll literally grab your shop and take it to that next level that you're going for, all right? So that is social media savvy. Okay, so right now, of course, you have the obvious platforms. You have your Facebook, you have your Instagram, right? Some people have LinkedIn, some people use Pinterest, okay? That pretty much takes them to the next level, all right? Of course, big one now that's coming on, TikTok, that's something that I definitely want to get into, your social media. And the big thing about social media, this is where all of your other skills are kind of kind of come in and combine into this platform here. So all your skills that you have, now it's time to show off because nowadays, back in the days, right, we had a portfolio, we had kind of like our binder that we would walk around with and we would show samples, okay? Those days, Okay, long gone. Those days are long gone. Of course, you could still do that. I still have a binder and I still have samples that I show people. Okay, but big picture, moving into the future, everything is online. All right, so you want to make sure your portfolio online is nice, up to date. Okay, of course, that is something that we're all working on. Okay, now let's talk about what to do. If you're not, if your skill level isn't all the way to 10, okay, on anything, this goes for anything across the board. This is the perfect time to outsource some of those skills, okay? Of course, the most obvious one is the digitizing part. Outsourcing is your best source, is your best way on moving on up. You at least want to know a basic standard level and we slowly move our way to expert level, okay? But don't ever feel just because you are not an expert that you don't have enough skills 
to kind of keep it moving, okay? At least if you know the very basics, you can at least outsource it and you know what to expect in return. Now, these five skills, these are the five skills I really want to zone in, especially in this channel. I want to dive deep into each one of these skills, okay? Because I think there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of information to put out. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. And any questions that you got, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. All right. So once again, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.